Alright YouTube, back again with another tutorial. Um, this is the shop that I currently cut at. It's called Shop at a Barber Shop uh, in South Center Parkway, Tequila, Washington. Um, my man here, he's looking rough. That's okay though, we're gonna get him back in action, make him get straight away. Alright, step number one with this tutorial, I'm using my and similar employee lies to set in the initial ball guideline. Um, I bet you guys are wondering why I'm not going straight across the head. The only reason why I'm doing that is because the only reason why, like, in so on certain heads, it's okay to go straight across the head. But this this one, I mean, this this guy in particular, um, his head, um, I go I go with the way the contour of the head is. You know, it's okay to go straight across sometimes, but some heads are not best for that. You know, but. Yeah, so as you can see, um, I'm giving my, I'm kind of like, I bet you guys are wondering why I'm not cleaning up going, cleaning up as I go. I'm, I don't do that, I do that last. Um, as of right here, I'm giving myself some room to, to uh, adjust and blend out and see my fade, how, how my fade looks, or whatever. So the next step right here, um, I'm using my Oster Octanes with the Zero Blade or the OA Blade to be more specific. I'm going about an inch from the initial ball guideline, giving myself some plenty of room to adjust and you know fix my mistakes if I ever come into any mistakes. Um, yeah, making sure I'm being real consistent with the way I'm flowing. As you guys can see, I'm not really I'm staying in that same in that same guide realm. You know, I'm not really going out too high, not too low. I got plenty of room to adjust. You know, it's 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 it's, it's quite it's quite it's art. You know, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Um, so my next step right here, I have the one and a half blade on the same clipper, going about an inch above the OA blade. Um, yeah, I love using blades, man. Blades are I don't know to me they cut way smoother and they give off a better blend a better blend in my in my uh in my in my opinion um right here i have the uh wall wireless scene which is in the number one excuse me number two uh red speedo guard close i'm going up i'm shooting up where i left off my one and a half uh guy at and i'm getting up to the top so uh Two, I, I love the two, you know, it's, it, these red, these red speeder guards are beautiful, man. They fit on any kind of clipper. Um, they, they cut faster and cut clean as well, too. Um, and yeah, they, they overall, they give, up, they give up a better fade. So, I'm staying up pretty, I'm staying up pretty, you know, I'm, I'm being real consistent with the way I'm flowing, you know what I'm saying? I said, like I said, I'm saying in that same fading realm, making, making my shirt, sure, making sure my guy is being, you know, laying it off completely. All right, step, next step after that, I have the wall one guard on my again wireless seniors and right here me as you can see i'm going to be lever playing a lot um only reason why i do that is because uh i don't know i don't like i don't like i don't like staying closed consistently in that same area because you know you, 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 might, you might accidentally push the fade too hard you know so me i always start open and like i down fade I, I open i open up the clipper and I slowly close it as I work my way down, and I adjust, and I, and I, you know, look at my look at my fade here and there, and look where I can, you know, adjust it and see, you know, if I have any mistakes, or whatever. So I'm going to be, as you can see, I'm going to be fading. Um, excuse me, I'm not going to be fading. I'm going to be, you know, blending, lever playing the whole thing. Um, but yeah, that's just the way I operate. I prefer that way too. So um, yeah, we're staying real, we're staying real consistent with where we're at. As you can see, fade's coming out real nice, man. And it's just look at the way I'm flowing, man. It looks, it looks like I know what I'm doing, you know? It's crazy. <clears throat> Alright, so last step, not last step, but second to last step, I believe. So um took off the one guard, closed my clipper all the way to take out the initial ball guideline and blend it all, blend it all out, come together. It's coming in real nice. Man, you guys gotta be careful with setting these ball lines up because you guys have to understand, like, yo, like you gotta have the clipper, in my opinion, you gotta have a clipper to take out these set lines. You know, you gotta adjust your clippers, you gotta zero gap them or whatever. Be careful when you zero gap certain clippers though, because it's dangerous. You can really cut somebody, you can literally cut somebody up and make something. You know, so you gotta be careful. So um, I don't recommend always the way I the way I put my uh, my ball on it. I don't recommend doing that for beginners. Uh, um, only because it's it's not it's not easy taking out a ball line sometimes. Because, you know, certain clippers can't do that, you know. So, uh, yeah, just just be cautious when you do that kind of stuff. I say turn turn it around and go up with it instead of putting it up. So right here, finally gonna clean it all up. As you can see, man, the fade is looking beautiful, man. Okay. 
okay, this fan is man, it's probably like one of my greatest wins, man. I'm, I'm proud to put this out. I'm, I'm I'm so happy I can show you guys this video, man. It's it's so I don't know, man. I love cutting hair, man. It's a passion, man. I love I love upgrading people. I love making people look good and feel good. Okay, so when it comes to fading beards, all right, you gotta be careful because one mistake going in that person's beard has to go. <laughs> so you gotta be super careful when you come when it comes to fading in a beard. Um, me, as you can see, um, I, the way I set I set like a little reference or whatever. I, I use the bottom portion of the ear and I shoot at an angle. But of course, shoot towards the shoot towards the nose to be more specific. And then from there, I reverse fade. Reverse fade as in like where um, the highest point, which is my two, my two guards you can see right now, and then fade, work my way down. So from there, I work my way down, use my one guard, open up, and then uh, slowly close, going my way up to where the ball line is at. And then from there, you fade it out. So yeah, like I said, people, be careful when it comes to fading your beard, because me, I, I love beards. I love, I, that's one thing I love about cutting hair. I love lining up beards. I love lining up beards. So, uh, you know, I, 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 I I don't know. I, I don't have one, so you know, like you know, it's, it's, it's tough. But you know, it's, it's easy at the same time. But um, I guess you guys are wondering why I just pulled out that guard. That's a half guard, only just to work in between the one and the uh, open. So we're here. I'm lining my man's up. Look at that fade, though, bro. Oh my god, man, it's clean. Oh yeah, these liners. Okay, so look, the Anderson line pro allies. They're they they are amazing trimmers man they hit and when i tell you they hit i mean look, i don't gotta i don't gotta say that as you, as, you, I, look, as you guys can clearly see my trimmers are hitting all right look at that look at the fade though man i wish you guys could see what we were like you know what i'm looking at right now but look man the beard right bro look at it, what, it okay i got some guys anyway yeah be cautious with lining up people um I'm sorry, I got way off topic. Uh, what's it called? The trimmers, Anderson Line Pro Allies. They're amazing hitters, but they freaking get clogged up to least clogged up as in like you know these trimmers are not meant to take on like thick hair. You just, just don't do it because the trimmers are gonna get clogged up, clogged up, and there's hair in between the bottom blade and the cutting blade, and therefore the tension screw, the ten tension screw, yeah, the tension screw cannot close the gap between the two, and then thus you cannot cut the hair. So. You gotta be careful when it comes to using these trimmers. Like I, I stand by these by these trimmers, man. They hit. Uh, I zero. I personally zero got them. Yes, I did. And uh, yeah, they're they're good trimmers, man. But just 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 be careful because like the lifespan of these are kind of kind of low key short. This is like my third pair so far. Um, and yes, I got these from these trimmers. I got from um, one of the uh, my man eighty six from Instagram. If you guys are curious and want to know about who he is and what you know what products he has and what clippers he sells or adjusts or you know um make make dope trimmers or whatever that you want um hit me up in the uh comment section and i'll let you i'll give you his link and all this kind of stuff now i might put i might even put in the video maybe um but yeah so um lining up my mans um I, but um i did not line up the front top of the hairline only because he didn't want me to so you know you gotta, you gotta do the client once. So here's the before and after. Here's the before video clip before we man walked in. It's looking crazy. It's looking crazy. Like, 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 hey, boo! Faded, baby. Skin faded. Ten toes down. All right, people. That's that. See you in the next video. Toops.